George Washington's six months on station in the Gulf are nearing their end. Another carrier strike group will join the fray. We've been out here for five, five and a half months on station every day and uh, turning and heading toward, towards home while we are going to be so happy to be heading home to see our families. But even though George Washington is leaving the war zone, pressure remains intense. The call to arms could come anytime, anywhere. So flight training continues unabated. And as the carrier steams west, the crew maintains its physical fitness. Sailors work up a sweat in a makeshift gym with a billion dollar view. With Norfolk a day sailing away, the air wing takes to the sky, headed for their land base. These aviators will be the first members of George Washington's crew to reunite with their loved ones. challenges to their skill and audacity. But now, it's time for family. being safe, getting 11 airplanes back from the carrier, all safe, all pilots are safe, and now I just need to get my crew back on board. They pull in tomorrow. Once I get them back safe, we'll be good to go. Naval Station Norfolk is vibrating with the emotional charge that comes when a major warship steams into home port, safe and sound. Washington is coming in, and all these sailors are getting off, and they've been out to sea for six months. It's a heartfelt scene, overshadowed by a harsh truth. Today's kind of a, a bittersweet. You know, we had such a great deployment, but yet today's special because we get to come home to our loved ones. I get to hug my wife for the first time, but there's a lot of uncertainty about when we're going to go back out to sea. Beneath the buzz of relief and joy lies the knowledge that, at any moment, George Washington and her crew could be summoned back into peril in the air and on the sea. It's great to be home, but you know, the job isn't done. We're the ready carrier for the next six months. We came back from our deployment not ready to quit, but in fact trained up. Our uh, magazines are full, our storerooms are full, our crew is trained, ready to respond to any emergency tasking, that, that kind of 911 call that our nation could use to get us back into action. Until that call, or until the next deployment, Nimitz-class carriers stand ready to serve high-tech bulwarks of American defense.